NTI day number 27, fifth grade social studies. Today you have two sheets. The first one's a cause and effect sheet, and then another one will be like fill in the blank. Okay, I'm gonna read this and then we'll talk about cause and effect. Life during the war. Life was not easy for Civil War soldiers. There were few trains, so soldiers walked long distances. Food and supplies were often scarce, especially in the South. Southern soldiers usually used their own horses. Men who did not have their own uniforms took those of dead soldiers. Although many men died in battle, many more died from disease and affected wounds. Conditions in military camps were poor. The men did not have a proper diet. Doctors often operated in unclean military camps and hospitals. With so many men at war, women were needed to fill their jobs at home. In the North, some women worked in factories making uniforms and weapons. In the South, women ran the farms and plantations. On both sides, women helped nurse the wounded. Clara Barton, who later founded the U.S. Red Cross, was known as the Angel of the Battlefield. She brought supplies to the Union camps and helped care for the sick. Many Northern children attended public schools during the war. The South had private schools. But with most men in the South at the war, Southern children had to help on the farm. Although the Civil War was the first U.S. war to be photographed, most people at home saw sketches of the war in magazines and newspapers. Okay, so now you have five effects and you had to figure out the cause. What caused those effects? So number one says more soldiers died from disease and infection in the bat than in battle. So up here it says... Although many men died in battle, many more died from disease and affected wounds. Conditions in military camps were poor. The men did not have proper diet. Doctors often operated in unclean military camps and hospitals. So the cause, I'm sorry, the effect, more soldiers died from disease and infection than in battle. What caused that? The conditions in the military camps were poor. So you will read um, the rest of the effects and go back into the passage and find the cause. Okay. Then the next sheet is a fill in the blank. It's called War is Fought. I'll read it to you. And you will fill in the blank, or you, I'm sorry, you'll bubble in the correct answer, okay? Or circle it, either one. The Civil War began in 1861 when Southern troops fired or navy on Fort Sumter, South Carolina. It was fought between 23 northern states known as the A South or B Union and 11 southern states called the Confederacy. The war divided the country in many families, especially those that lived along the border between North and South. There a family might have one brother fighting for the North, which would be blue, and another fighting for the for the South or the Union, which would be gray. Choose which one there. The North had many advantages. It had more states and therefore more people to do the fighting. There were more, many more factories in the North, including those that A, fired or B, manufactured weapons. Throughout the war, the North had more money or military and supplies than the South. The South had some advantages Many Southerners had received military or Navy training, so they made excellent soldiers. Southerners were also better outdoorsmen. Many free African Americans fought in the war. At first, the North did not want to use them. As the war dragged on, they were A, allowed or B, signed to work as cooks, scouts, and in other service jobs. Later, they fought in combat in both the Army and Union or Navy. The war lasted four years. Both sides fought A, bravely or B, money, and suffered losses. In 1865, after much of its land and buildings had been destroyed, the South finally surrendered. General Robert E. Lee, the leader of the Southern troops, and General Ulysses S. Grant, the leader of the Northern troops, met in Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia, to sign or fire the surrender.